Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to customize this Ford F-150. This car was sent to me by one of my subscribers who lives in the USA. He also asked me to lift it and use the wheels you seen at the plastic bag earlier. I'm pretty sure most of you know this casting that was made by Hot Wheels and they use it for quite some time maybe 15 or even 20 years now my friend who sent me this car didn't provide the original part that came with it it was fitted with a cap at the back but he wanted me to create something else at the back of this car so this is what I'm doing right now The main focus with creating this part is to use one metal sheet for the entire piece. Therefore it will hold both bed and also tailgate at one continuous part. The tailgate at the back end of this truck needs to be realistic. Therefore, I've used some Google images in order to see what parts I need to add in order to do so. In order to create the wooden bed effect for this section, I'm using these uh, sushi sticks and I'm just cutting them to the right length and using some super glue, I'm attaching them to the bed of this car.
okay now I'm done with it and right now you will hear the tiny click and here it is the part is perfectly fitted to this After finish fitting this part to my truck, I'm using this nail polish in order to paint the tailgate and to cover all the parts I've added and also creating a smooth finish and realistic looking part. The next step with this truck will be creating suspension modification and lifting it up using the wheels my friend gave me. By the way, if you saw me fabric... If you wondered how much time it took me to create this bed of the truck, it took me about 4 hours, although you see only a few minutes of it in this video. The same thing goes with this suspension modification, creating all these parts and adjusting the right height takes about one hour or so. Since this car is going to be sent away, I want it to be as strong as possible using less glue and parts that can break. Therefore, I'm using screws in every way I can. So now that the body of this truck is finished and ready for painting, I will start my paint process which is going to be made off camera. Now, here it is. I painted the car with some orange color and after shooting this part of this video, I've decided it looks way too shiny for my taste. And I don't want this car to be stock looking. So, I decided to add some weathering effects to make it more realistic, like an everyday car that someone's been using. Let me know in the comment section down below which looks you like the most. The shiny one or this kind of old truck that someone's using to his daily work. Okay then guys, right after shooting this video, I will pack this car and send it away to Georgia, to my friend. And I hope he will enjoy it and like it. Thanks for watching. Take care. I will see you at my next video. Bye bye.